when you're dealing with such degraded land, the first step is to colonize the place with life, you know, to bring more life. And of course, there are a few things. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every being is equipped to live a positive, energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Agroforestry Academy channel. Today I want to talk to you about colonizing very degraded lands, such as this one over here. But before we get right into it, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That's the best way you can support us in growing the channel and spreading the word of agroforestry throughout the world. So, uh, this is a land of, of a a friend of mine and I'm helping him out with uh, the project to to implement agroforestry systems here and regenerate the land you can see that it's very degraded uh, there's no vegetation whatsoever there's a big like a big furrow that was open here by the you know constant water and 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 soil being taken away and although it looks like it's a rocky place. You can see here, this is all, you know, it's kind of rocky, but this is actually, this kind of rock is just condensed sand. You can actually put a harrow in here and, uh, and kind of turn everything into sand. You can see it here, Look, it's just very, very sandy. And so when you're, when you're dealing with such degraded land, the first step is to colonize the place with life, you know, to bring more life. And of course, there are a few things uh, you can do to start off. The first one is to bring organic matter to the place. And the way we're going to do that is by using lots of manure. So what we're going to do here is to just spread a whole lot of manure around the place and incorporate with a harrow here in this soil. You know, the hair is just going to break up all of these rocks and turn them into sand. And so we're going to have a sandy soil, but with a lot of organic matter from, from the manure. And, and then we're going to implement vigorous species such as guinea grass and pigeon pea. Just to colonize the place, we're not even going to worry about, about planting trees yet. It's just going to be guinea grass and pigeon pea to really get a dense stand of green vegetation here so that we just start the process of life and you know bring back beneficial microorganisms to the soil and so that we have organic matter because then guinea grass and pigeon pea are going to give us organic matter and then we're going to be able maybe you know six months or one year after the initial planting to come again and open up some rows of trees in the middle of the guinea grass and the pigeon pea but then we're gonna be starting in a new you know in, in an improved environment so that's the first thing you got to do when you're working in in very degraded soil it's best to start off with a system of what i like to call a system of colonization and i get a good view of the mountains back there uh, a good system of colonization, which is just to put the engine of life in motion, you know, the engine of microorganisms in the soil in motion before you come in with your plants. Because it's important to remember that uh, all of the species that we cultivate, they're very, they're highly dependent on microorganisms in the soil. So if you try to implement stuff without this live soil plants just have a much harder time and they're going to be attacked by pests and diseases a lot more than when you have already a soil rich in microorganisms and of course we're gonna um 
not only bring the manure which by itself already incorporates a lot of microorganisms and also serves as feed for whatever microorganisms still exist in the soil but we're gonna be grabbing some efficient microorganisms you know microorganisms from nearby forests multiplying them and and then polarizing here when we're planting so that we so we're actually inoculating the land with microorganisms and then bringing uh, the species of plant that I told you about you know pigeon pea and guinea grass which are are going to be photosynthesizing and bringing lots of carbon to the soil to feed those microorganisms so I'm creating a, a little cycle and I'm bringing in microorganisms and bringing in plants because the microorganisms depend on the plants also so it's it's a mutual uh, relationship plants depend on microorganisms microorganisms depends depend on plants so you need to bring, bring both of them at the same time one other strategy that's interesting to use is to add a bit of sugar to the soil not much something like five kilos per hectare or something because that's going to stimulate even more you know just to get that first pump of carbon and sugar to the microorganisms that we're going to be uh, pulverizing in the soil of course you don't want to be feeding uh, microorganisms only with simple sugars but rather with stuff like cellulose and lignin and that sort of stuff the manure is gonna have a, you know some of that and but the sugar is just really to give it an initial boost in the micro microbial population because you know sugar just really makes microorganisms thrive so that's about it. I'm gonna keep you updated as the, as the system progresses. I'm gonna try to record some videos as we're implementing the system here. And this should be a very interesting experience and hopefully a successful one. So that's it guys. I uh, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, check out our full agroforestry course. There's a card here. And um, we, we have 25 lessons. You know, all the lessons are free and you're gonna get acquainted with all of the concepts that we talk about in agroforestry by watching this course and also if you want to take a step further support the channel and really dive even deeper into your agroforestry uh, learning journey check out our patron community you can join for seven dollar ninety cents you're gonna get access to some extra material you're gonna get access to videos earlier so that's a great way to support the channel and get some goodies from it. All right, so I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.